you, if you have to question, it's a possible yes. If it's integrity and things that you stand on, it's a definite no. Like, for example, as we just said, I don't know what I would do until I get in that situation, right? Now, let's say I asked you a question that was completely, I mean, let's say the boss now says, for you to keep your job, you have to have sex with me. See, now you see how you feel about that? No, that's a no. Yeah. But why do you feel so definite about that one but not the other? Yeah. Yeah. Why does the tech integrity teeter-totter? You get what I mean? Yeah. So if you have to question it, it's a possible yes. Because there's certain things, it's a definite no. All the way around the board, I'll die for it. Yeah, somebody, you know, somebody presents sex. No, not happening. But should that be the same integrity you have for possibly writing a lie? Like, no, it's not happening. I don't care about the results. Because it doesn't look, are you saying throughout, because it doesn't look as heavy as we're up front. Like, of course, like, of course having sex, of course I could damage your career, but maybe with the um, writing a lie, that can question it. Like, oh, um, maybe it won't. There's kind of room for it's kind of like, sorry, it's kind of like your integrity. Like, mm -hmm. like obviously I'm not going to have sex with you just to keep my job. Like, that's mm -hmm. disgusting. But you should kind of have that same feeling to tell the lie in a story. Universally. Yeah. Be because as he just talked about, you got some people, if you question the price, they mean well, I just go up. Yeah. Will you have sex for $100? No. $1,000. I think about that all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. That came. That came. <laughs> that was. I do. I've done modeling, right? And, but the thing is, I've done, I do modeling. I've done stuff 16. I've gotten offer, offers like, oh, like, pose nude. I'll give you $2,000. I said, no. Yeah. Up it. $3,000. No. Yeah, that means no, it would be no not, all the way up like, the board. I'm just saying, I've, so, I've so, so if you get a thousand dollars and be like, hmm, no. Nah. If it turned into them type of, nah. <laughs> no. Five thousand. Yeah, when it starts, tw that means twenty grand is a definite yes, which means <laughs> ten grand in your face is a yes. <laughs> not saying you, you know. I'm just, <laughs> I'm saying, but this, these, these are the real stories of integrity. Because if you question it, somebody will find your price. But also, yeah. I think it's also having a backup plan, too. What's your plan? Okay, if I lose my job, do I have a plan B, C, or it's also that? The, it's like there'll, there's always, there'll always be something. Like, like, if you kind of put it into perspective of, you know, like, is it it's equal to, like, let's say you say, like, it's equal to having sex with your boss, telling a lie. And it's like... You're not like if you weigh it the same way, like there's always going to be something else. Like if mm -hmm. the question is, oh, like will you have sex with me? Then it's like no, like I'm going to find something else. There'll be something else. Because so it's it, like you have that same mentality with telling a lie in story. You would think because it, once you start creating gray areas, the limitations are gone. Because because well, what I mean by that is now that you question money, like oh, well, you know, for sex for money is ah, you got a gray area now. So that means you, that's your own your integrity. So where do you draw the line on every other aspect of your integrity? The lie in your story, the lie to your spouse, the lie in a household. You're not just going to lie in this area and not lie everywhere else. Your integrity is pretty consistent. I, I recently seen um, Damon Wayans. Damon Wayans did a radio interview with The Breakfast Club. And they asked him, he, he has diabetes. And they asked him, what is diabetes? And his answer was so wrong. He was like, I think it's a blood disease in your legs. Oh my God. Oh my God. You see, he's that wrong. But he's getting, view he, this is a three million viewership show. And then now people are going to believe. <laughs> That's offensive. Some people might be mad. Seriously. Seriously. I do too. But, yeah. but now, me being a young adult, listening to this form of entertainment, I'm going to say, you know, uh, the doctor says I have diabetes. You know, there's just a little bit of blood in my leg. <laughs> so what I need to do, and he said his activity, yeah, so what I do is just try and remain active. Oh, wow. I'm like, so what about your diet? <laughs> what about the things that could really help? He doesn't know any better. And these are the people, as I said, why do we keep following? Because it's more than just journalism because we don't know. Like you said earlier, is it a boy or a girl that wrote the article? It was a man that wrote the article. We didn't even know that. You know, that says a lot for how we read and how we digest information, seriously. We don't even know who's giving it to us. Like, for example, it was a guy, I forget his name. He was a Ku Klux Klan master, the grandmaster of the Ku Klux Klan. 
and he was writing, he was writing books on black history with a disguised name so blacks would read it. So now, since blacks are reading the book wrote by a Klan master, he knew how to infiltrate a black person's mind to destroy him. Because he like, I gave you what to think. I recently um, seen the live, you know, I forget what those call when they do the life, experience, life experiments where a blind man had a $50, $50 bill and he was telling people to give him change for a five. They found out that that guy was a complete fraud. So he was actually hiring um, actors and actresses to fake like they were taking the money to put it on online to act as if people are bad people when he actually hired. And then he actually went further than that to tell the stories like, yeah, these people were just bad people, you know, and found out that everybody on there was fake. So he can become a YouTube sensation was his whole drive. So he was willing to manipulate the masses of people just for YouTube popularity. And he said that every thousand views equates a dollar. So now that I got a hundred million views, you do the math. And he's bragging about it before he got caught. Mm -hmm. so, he got caught yeah, he got caught. He got caught on camera, which was funny because he was interviewing him about how good he's doing. And he was really uh, setting him up to expose him. And after they exposed him, you know, he did the same thing they do on the Maury show and everything else. It got up, run, like, like nothing happened. Yeah, well, got up and walked out. But like I said, the, this is consistent, as you just said. It, it's not just about journalism now. You're looking at this all the way around the board. Journalism becomes a field, but the integrity is amongst everyone. Are you going to keep that in journalism is the real question. Because it's easy for us all to say, yeah, we're going to keep it in this environment. But what happens when the, the, the real situations hit you that you care about more than journalism? What happens when your, your young daughter, can't, you can't afford the private school anymore? Now, if you don't make the payments, they got to go to public school. Will you lie on the story then? Because your daughter means more than this story. All those things play a factor in the integrity of your field. Journalism <clears throat> serves as one field, except it weighs heavier because you're giving stories to the people. What I've, what I've done is created this database of wisdom as far as interviewing professionals from doctors to lawyers to and interviewing them about what it is they truly do. Like not the...